Sorry, no, we are going to start an uh, interior, it's not a full interior, it's a, yeah, it's four bedrooms, hallway, ceilings, walls, woodwork, let's do it. and assets and a job, especially for prep. It's the most important. Like, I can't not stress enough how important it is to protect people's assets. You know, we're in here to improve. You know, we're not here to damage anything. So yeah, I, that's my number one priority is to make sure everything's wrapped up and there's always 100% caution. Even putting products down, ladders, you know, that's just, yeah. Soft, gentle, subtle. So is this your first step when you're starting a new job? Always sheets and... We come in and protect everything. So first we come in, cover up all the flooring, and then we'll go through, cover up all the furnishing, and yeah, just make sure everything's completely wrapped up. Take down any of the pictures, wrap up the lights, power points, the window frames, anything we need to do. And as a DIY, you do the same thing? 100%. Yeah, most definitely. It all depends. If you're a DIY doing your own place, um, you know, it can be quite different because they, it's your property, it's your asset. So, um, you know, if you damage it, that's on you. But yeah, if you're paying someone to come in and to provide a service, um, you know, you don't want to be walking out and creating more damage and cost for your clients than what the actual job was worth in the first place. So yeah, it can actually cost you more money. You know, if you're doing the job for five thousand dollars and then you damage the floors and it costs them ten, well, it's gonna cost you ten grand. So it's costing you fifteen thousand dollars. So yeah, it's most important. Back to the basics, been a lot of things, but I've never been basic. Run around bases, came from the basement, never been shameless. So I got stay in the streets, get dangerous, so I might bang it. Don't like hanging, let's see family, please don't. Sure is. They're the best on the market, especially when you're working by yourself. I find that um, the eye clip drop sheets, plastic droppers, just, yeah, they open up the easiest. So, you know, it's, it can be a very frustrating thing if they tear and rip, especially when you do it by yourself. Uh, so, yeah, always for me, it's the eye clip droppers. Just, um, yeah, saves a lot of stress, a lot of hassle. Plus, you're not tearing or wasting any of the product. You know, it's like it. Open up something, it starts to tear. And it's just going to end up costing you time, money, and yeah, a lot of frustration along the way. Like what you claiming, what you saying, what you buy and what you need. I'm at the house, ain't at the club. I'm really chilling with my seat. I love my poppy, put me on. I'm really chilling with When you come into a, a, a space or a home or anything like that, the most important thing to do first, get everything protected, like I said. But you want to start with a blank canvas. So that means all the power points, all the curtains down. I'll even go taking off these curtain rods or take down any of the blinds. We'll Would wrap up everything, take everything completely out. And then we can go through sand, scrape, get everything filled up, gapped up, prepped up and primed. And then we can start laying down a top coat. So that's always a process. It's always about coming in, tearing everything apart. You've always got to start and you've always got to go back before you can go forward. So to make the life easier, we can always work around these type of things, but at the end of the day, take it all out, take it all down, get it out. It's away, it's protected. Let's us do what we need to do. Then we can come back in, um, get everything painted, put everything back on. You don't have to worry about anything getting damaged, anything having paint on it. Um, and yeah, it's, that's just the process. So right now, we just go into the next blind. We've taken down the pictures as we go in each room. So this, taking down the blinds. Just get it out. Share. Obviously, if you haven't got somewhere to put it, you'll wrap it up or something like that. But yeah, if we can 
If we've got somewhere to put everything, which makes it a lot easier also. That way nothing's getting damaged. You know, a lot of the time, you know, painters come along, they'll be like, hey, you know, the clients could have done this themselves, but a lot of times clients don't know what we actually need them to do. They're not the painters, they're not tra in the trade. So it makes it hard for someone to know exactly what to do when they do not know what to do. So if that makes sense anyway. You only know what you know. Exactly, you only know what you know. So yeah, I don't, I don't stress, so I, 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 I try to let, you know, all the clients are like, hey, can we do anything? I'm like, it's all good, we'll do it. You know, because we know exactly what we need to do. If it's moving furniture, wrapping up everything, just protecting everything, that's our job. And there's nothing worse than when a painter says, hey, I don't move anything. I'm not a furniture mover. I don't want to clean up after it yourself. Like being a tradesman, being a painter, it's all a part of the job. So even stuff like this, like, and you, you know, even though it, it wasn't done properly, before we leave, we'll fix this properly, just so, no, it just shows you actually care, you know, and it, 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 it's always good just to go a bit above and beyond the, what most painters will do or what most people do, because it just shows not only that you, you care for what you're doing and gives yourself a bit of pride, but it makes you feel good. It makes me feel good knowing that I can, you know, help out in any way, because we're not all tradesmen, we're not all in the game where, you know, we've got all the equipment, we've got the drills, we've got hammers, nails, whatever it is. So, yeah, if we can always help out somewhere along the way, hey, it's, it's bringing good vibrations to yourself and the people around you, right? 100%. And for me, that's what it's about. Not just about making money, yeah, it's about making connections along the way. And that's what the, a good business is. Sunny or the spies are calling Million dollar house, got a mortgage We gon' let them die, give it pouring Try to shut a straw when we're ballin' Sunny or the spies are calling When we let it slide, it's recording We ain't gonna die till you're boring Try to shut a straw when we're ballin' Everybody got saw these in clips well, I'm just marking so everything I take out of the room for that room, I'm just going to have it marked. So then if I put a blind in this room, I'm going to put bed one on top of the door and then I'm going to mark the blind big bed one. So then I'm not trying to go into different places and work it out, but it's not fitting and everything like that. Bed two, and you just stick it above the door or under the door, whatever works for you. Like that and then you know this so now what we can do we'll come and read the bed three from on top of the door and then come and read And that way, we know when we take everything out. We know exactly where it's got to go when we're putting it back.